we understand that there are other human beings down, that there is a planet that tries to say something to us as well. So it is about transforming, you could say, our desire so that it can actually help us to exist in this world in a grown-up way. That maybe has been an important theme for education anyway. I think it has become particularly urgent in a world where we are constantly being told, told by advertising, for example, that we need to get more desires. Uh, this is how capitalism works. Capitalism works because it needs to grow. In order to grow, capitalism needs to sell more stuff. It could do that by going to countries that not yet had our stuff, but the whole world is full of stuff already. Think about IKEA, for example. <laughs> so the only way in which capitalism can still grow is to plant new desires in us, never to limit our desires, but to multiply our desires. iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6. So we live in a world that very strongly says you need more desires rather than you need to look at your desires and see whether your desires are sustainable for your own life and the life with others on this planet. That's why I think this is even a more urgent task for education today. And this is not something we only find in education. The question of democracy is also that question. How do we limit ourselves so that we can exist together? The question of ecology is also that question, what limitations puts the planet on our desires? And the question of care plays an important role there as well. That brings me to just a sum up. Um, I've tried to say something about what I think good education is, and that is education that tries to stay in balance and tries to stay uh, thinking and, and working in a three-dimensional way. And when you ask me what should matter in education, can we capture that in the language of learning? Not really, I think. Can we capture it in the language of development? I've shown some dangers there. I like the language of formation because this says something about the forms we need to develop to be able to exist together in this world. And that is a, a question where grown-upness is at stake. And for me, this is a, a basic of education that we shouldn't forget. Um, I don't know whether you agree with me, but I hope at least that you want to think a bit about this and then we need to see where we go from here.